The topic today is leg length difference. In this video, I explain where this comes from and how you can solve the whole thing. My name is Hannah. I am a trained Liebscher and Brack therapist. So how can leg length discrepancy happen? By too much tension in the tissues around the hip. Which means when the muscular fascial tissues contract, they pull on the bone to which they are attached. That is, the femur is pushed into the hip socket. This creates pressure in the joint and it's super important that you release the tension. If there's pressure in the joint for too long, it means that the cartilage and the joint in general are not being taken care of properly, which eventually leads to wear and tear and also pain. We're going to do three exercises together that you can easily incorporate into your daily routine to resolve your leg length discrepancy and bring balance back to your body. The first exercise is quite comfortable on the chair. Cross your legs. Make sure your ankle is above your knee so it's not resting but hanging freely. And then lean forward with your back straight. The stretch should be in your buttocks. I'll show you from the side. Cross your legs, back straight, and lean forward, rather a little bit towards the foot. And then the stretch is in the butt area, a little bit in the back of the thigh as well. We hold each exercise for two minutes. Two whole minutes allows your fascial tissue to loosen up. That only starts to loosen up, relax a little bit after 30 seconds. Make sure you hold those two minutes with me the whole way. You're doing very well and watch your intensity too. The exercise should be that you feel something very clearly. And by very clearly, I mean that it's already uncomfortable. It may pinch a little, pull. Just make sure that you don't go over it. Over it in the sense that you're really in pain, that you can't breathe, or that you want to get out of this exercise as quickly as possible. If that's the case, back it up a little bit with your upper body so that you can hold the stretch well with me. Do the exercise on the side where you notice the shortening. But it doesn't hurt to do the exercises on both sides either. It doesn't mean that your other leg will get longer, but simply that the tension in the area of your hip can relax. Relaxing in the sense that the joint can align itself. Okay, wonderful. Let's move on to the second exercise. Sit on the chair at a slight angle. Take your ankle and the affected leg parallel to the chair. Also, don't bend your hip too much so you have a super good stretch in the thigh area. The belly, don't let it sag, but pull it in a little bit like this. Pull belly button to spine, stabilize your abdominal area so your stretch is even more intense. We hold this for two minutes. All our Liebscher and Bracht exercises are held for two minutes because after the two minutes of stretching, you have the highest blood circulation that you can in the tissue. Blood circulation means regeneration. What's added is that your fascial system doesn't start to let up until 30 seconds. That means we need a little bit of time for your whole system to relax and realign. Your stretch should be easily felt, but also bearable. When the stretch subsides, pull your foot a little closer so you can get a more intense stretch. You're almost there too. 
If you find that you can't sustain the exercise, please back off quite a bit. So don't pull your foot so hard on the butt or bend your hip minimally so that you can absolutely last the two whole minutes with me. Do these exercises every day. Whether you do them in the morning or the evening, it's totally up to you, but it's important that you get into a routine. As much time as your body needed to contract, your body also needs some time to release, relax, and align. All right, last exercise. Get into the marksman stance. That means getting on your affected knee, putting the other leg in front of you, pulling your belly button towards your spine, and then pushing your whole pelvis forward. The stretch should be in the groin area. Even though the leg difference may not cause pain directly, it can have an extreme effect on your entire body. Because when one leg is shorter than the other and you have both feet on the ground, it changes the entire dynamics of your pelvis up through your spine to your shoulders head area. And that, of course, if one side carries more tension, it can lead to pain. With these exercises, you loosen up the area in your hips so that your leg length can realign and create balance in your body. You're almost there. Make sure your stretch is intense for these two whole minutes. Click the link above to download our free guide to hip pain. You'll discover everything you need to know about hip pain and get more pain relieving exercises you can do at home. Whether you do the exercises for your hip or for your leg length, it may resolve other pain conditions, perhaps in your back or your shoulder neck area. It is important that you do these exercises regularly, at least six times a week. One day you can take a break. Otherwise, just follow the program for four weeks and you will feel and see what changes in your body. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. If you want to get your hips really free, click here for our hip routines and you can subscribe to our channel to not miss any more videos. Until next time.